Today we're installing the rotary cutter on the 6040 here. Take the rotary cutter out the bag and put the cable through the eyepiece at the end of the machine. You can see where we are pointing, which is to the Y axis on the, on the controller board here. We're going to remove that. And we are going to plug the cable that's coming through the eyepiece directly onto the motherboard. It can only go in one way, so you cannot make a mistake. Just like that, and the installation is complete. We're going to start the machine now, and as you can see, the rotary cutter is turning, and that is because the rotary cutter um, cannot find the limit switch. So what we're going to do is that we are going to manually press the limit switch in the bottom top left-hand corner, which will stop the rotary cutter. Here you can see that the rotary cutter has been stopped. You'll notice that the uh, glass we've put on the rotary cutter includes white tape around it. You can either use white tape or you can use elastic bands. And the reason for this is to give traction so that when you are rotary, you are cutting it or engraving it, it does not slip on the aluminium rail. We're now setting the focal length and glass to make sure that the um, engraving is perfect. Right, the focal length is now set, and now we can begin the engraving process. We're now going to be then engraving a glass. We've set the power to 20% and the speed to 250 mils per second, and we're about to start now.